All right, so I'm just going to flesh out a handle real quick. It's a, kind of a no-brainer, but I want to put it on video. It's the fact that I need some kind of handle that fits in here and still looks aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's all about aesthetics for this lesson. Extrude. Extrude. Tab to go back into object mode. Add a multi-res. Okay, divide it once. Okay, then I'm just going to kind of put this in its place using one. I can kind of get it into the center. Using seven, I can get it in the center of this. When I'm building this weapon, I'm thinking about design. How would it actually be put together in real life? Uh, is that Always correct, no, because you know you have to worry about how many polygons you have and stuff like that. For this lesson, what, what my idea is to get an axe that looks aesthetically pleasing at a low resolution so you can show off the topology. I'm not really concerned about does it go in game correctly and all that good stuff. Uh, technically, everything here is all quads, so it would go in game, uh, it would be triangulated there, but there ends the um problem if it was triangulated it would end up in a lot of triangles the game nowadays today's standards holds you know you can have a 20,000 uh, triangle model as a weapon and it still is okay actually what's slowing today's engines down is physics and texture size so polygons are not too much of a concern nowadays it's more about texture and physics Let's divide this one more time. That way I can get the axe kind of to look good in this area. And I'm going to build like a collet in this area for the handle to rest into. Okay, there we go. Good. And you can see I have all these modifiers in place still. So don't worry about that. That's going to happen. I'm going to have those modifiers still doing their job. But sooner or later, I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, Shift-D will duplicate this, and what I want to do is make a handle out of it that fits within this collet. Okay, R on the keyboard to shrink that up. And make it grow this way. Okay, one on the keyboard. So this is what my workflow is, is just to get the general shape of things while they're in multi-res form. There we go. So that was a very boring video, I know. But uh, the next video will be a lot better, I promise you. Well, wait a minute. One more piece, I think. Let me put something on the end here. Okay, in this case, I'm going to back it off once and then apply this modifier and then go back in to the box and add a wireframe to it so I can see what's going on both at an edit level and an object level. I like being able to see the flow, so 
you know, I'll often turn on wireframe on all pieces. I know this handle is going to be at this level. So I'm going to apply that modifier also. This one is at a lower res for a reason. I need to shape out this piece at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna use smooth vertex to kind of make a point. Like that. Control R to insert some edge loops right here. Maybe one right here. Okay, liking that. Let's go in here to edges. I want this edge moved just a technically a little bit up and I'm going to insert some decor right here. So I'm gonna grab a face and using shift control alt. It allows me to get the entire ring. Control E, right click, and then scale that piece out, and then scale it only in Y. Okay, what did I just do? I just did a surface bevel. So now I have kind of a decor going on. You know, that helps every once in a while to have some features in there. So again, that's shift control alt. Do it right on the ring. Control E, scale it, scale it in Y just a little bit. There we go, got some kind of ornamental thing at the cap end. Those little details from a distance look really sweet. Later, I might develop something for the top. For right now, I'm just going to worry about that bottom piece. All right. Now that I have this, I, I want to start working on the idea that there's going to be something in here that's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Maybe some rope wrapped around the handle here and in this region. So how do we do that? And that's in the next video.